Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to display dynamic results via dynamic URLs. In other words, I'm going to show you how to get from a page like this with a bunch of links on it to a page like this with a bunch of information on it, right? Just to illustrate what's happening here, that's what's happening. So we've got this page here and it is linked to a details page. I like to call it a details page. So that's kind of the finished version, so I'm going to show you how I like to think about this. So here I am on the unfinished page. So in my previous video, I showed you how to create these dynamic URLs. They're, they're dy dynamic URLs in that they all link to the same page. The only difference is if you look down in the left hand quarter, bottom left hand corner of the screen, you're going to see that the URL is almost the same, but I'm just passing an ID. And that ID happens to correspond to the primary key of the table where the information is stored. To show you what that looks like, it looks like this. So the underlying information is this table called games, and those are the primary keys, those are the games, that's some information about an image, that's the genre, that's a console. We're going to come back to this in a minute here, but do understand that's the data-driven part of our site. And so we want to connect this page to that details page. So the first thing to understand is that you're going to need to do the design first. And so when I do the design, I like to do it like this. So like, let's just go to this, whatever Zelda link is. So notice I just kind of shell it out. So like I write title, console, genre, that's where the picture's going to go. Um, there's no getting around the design part of this. So that's what I do when I'm creating that details page or that page which is going to be populated dynamically. I kind of shell it out, which is a big placeholder text. And then once I've got the design I'm looking for, then we'll start concentrating on the process of, of getting the information onto that page. And so let's have a look at the code and start putting it together. So here is the code. Most of it we're not going to look at it. Obviously there's some CSS and HTML happening, require script. The underlying query is just um, this, this. This is what you need to care about. The rest of this is just housekeeping stuff. So this big is set and I'm saying, hey, if that ID's there, then let's do our thing. If that ID's not there, and you can see the else block is right here, then bounce them out of here. Now I'll show you what I mean by that, because this is actually important. Um, in the event that this ID is not here, I don't know why it wouldn't be there, but if it wasn't there, it's going to kick you out and send you back to some other page. You'll see that's the redirect. You might be wondering, what the heck is that page? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just I'm just pointing out that I did get redirected. So either that ID is there, which makes everything work, or it's not, and I kick you right out. So this stuff, like I said, you don't need to worry about. There's There's more stuff going on here than it looks like. The part that I want you to care about is just this simple query right here. So select star from games where image ID equals ID, right? I don't know if you remember that table I showed you a minute ago, but the primary key was image ID. So just a simple query and I process the query and I pick out the row, right? There should only be a single row with that ID. If there was more than one row, then I don't know what I was doing with my primary keys. So that's my data, right? That variable right there called row is what has everything in it. And so the part of the page where I have the information is here, right? The rest of this is just CSS, HTML, and general logic. So instead of just that generic title word, what I want to do is I want to bust into a little inline PHP. So just P, uh, right, left bracket, question mark, PHP. I'm going to do this inline. And it's quite simply just going to, well, I say it's simple. It kind of is. I'm just going to do a little echo. And now the thing that I want to echo out is that variable called row. And at this point, I need to know what that field was called that had the title in it. I could just guess that it's called title, which I actually don't know. Or I could go look at my table and go, OK, title, that's the thing I want. And so I head over here and just put in title. I save, and that's the process. So the, really, the work is is writing the query and just designing the page. Um, once you've got the page designed, then it's just quite simply a matter of just refreshing things. And you'll notice when I press refresh, that title is no longer going to say title. It's going to say Zelda. And then I'm going to you know, wash, rinse, and repeat for console and genre. I'll do that kind of just one at a time. So instead of those XXX, I'm just going to go into some inline PHP. And I'm going to do a little simple echo. And it's called row again. And the field that I want to spit out here is probably called console. I don't know about the case sensitivity of it. We'll see if I make a mistake. And then for genre, again, same kind of process. You notice how I shell it out and then I and then I put in the, the PHP? Because this PHP is a little bit ugly anytime you're doing this uh, inline stuff. 
So I kind of like to have the placeholder in uh, there. It makes it a little bit easier. And let's see how that works. Because I'm not, I don't know if I got those fields right. I'm just guessing what they're called. Now the image. Well, images, I, I debated whether I should even do images. It's the same kind of deal. Just know that at some point I'm going to actually tackle the subject of images. But for now, I'm just going to do a little hand waving at it. What I will tell you is that's the name of the image right there, so it is stored in a table. And the other thing that you need to know is that those images are actually in this folder called Uploads. So that's what you need to know. So let me show you how you do this. So I've got this image tag, uh, SRC, that's the path to the image. And so that folder is called Uploads. And it's a folder, so I'm going to say forward slash. And then now I want to do the name of the image. So. Here is where I'm going to break into a little bit of PHP, right? It looks real weird embedding it after a forward slash inside of back ticks, but that's okay. And I have no idea what that field was actually called. I think it was called um, just image. That should be easy enough. Uh, so it's row, square brackets, back tick, image, and that should give me the path to my image. So I will save and I will refresh and there's my image. Um, like I said, I'll tackle images later. It, this, it's not a whole lot different in principle than displaying any of the other information on the page. Just the difference is it was more of an attribute of a tag as opposed to just something sitting out there. So that's the process of taking a dynamic URL like this and creating a page which is capable of processing that ID and populating a page dynamically. Very common thing to do in web programming. It's one of the more common things that you're going to do with something like PHP. So I hope thanks for watching.